Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today, my topic is a brief history and the evolution of Ethernet IEEE A02.3 standards. Ethernet is by far the most widely installed LAN technologies. Ethernet was created and developed in the early 1970s at Xerox Park. In 1983, IEEE ratified Ethernet as LAN standards, IEEE A02.3. In 1985, ThickNet was introduced with the speed of 10 megabit. The ThickNet was replaced soon by the much cheaper 10 base 2 ThinNet. Both ThickNet and ThinNet use coaxial cables and bus topology. Later on, the ThinNet was replaced by 10 base T, which used the twist pair cable, shielded twist pair. Or unshielded twist pair, or simply STP UTP. In 1995, so-called fast Ethernet was introduced. The maximum speed is up to 100 megabits. Fast Ethernet is not fast at all by today's standards, but back to the 1990s, 100 megabits was fast indeed. In 1999. One gigabit Ethernet was becoming Ethernet standards. In 2006, 10 gigabit Ethernet was hitting the market for fiber transmission. Just four years later, 100 gigabit Ethernet was a new version. The year 2017 saw the terabit Ethernet, or simply TBE, which includes 200 gigabit and 400 gigabit. We expect 800 gigabit and 1.6 terabit Ethernet become IEEE standards after 2020. Over the 50 years history from 1973 to 2023, which is only four years away, Ethernet has been evolving. Slowly at first, but faster and faster. If we consider the Ethernet during the first 25 years as the early Ethernet, the Ethernet during the second half as the modern Ethernet, we might say some features remain the same while some others change. For example, the early Ethernet used coaxial cables and UTP, but modern Ethernets use fibers and UTP. The early Ethernet used hubs and switches as central devices, but modern Ethernet only uses switches. However, for all Ethernet versions, old and new, some features haven't changed. With UTP/STP, the maximum distance between host to its switch is 100 meters. Every version of the Ethernet has a limit. Of 1,024 nodes.